Hey guys, I'm glad to see you here for Reinhardt's fifth episode. Let's hop right into it. Number one, there are several gaps in the game that Reinhardt can charge over, allowing him additional flexibility in flanking the enemy with his team. To name a few, there's this rather unknown spot in Lijong Tower Garden, where the slight height boost that this platform provides is enough to propel you across. There's also the left side of Hanamura while attacking. You'll have to wait to get charged twice, but that 10 seconds is a low price to pay if your team is truly stuck while trying to push elsewhere. You wouldn't think Reinhardt has the mobility to do this kind of thing, but that's where I come in. For the record, do not jump into charge. All this accomplishes is building downwards momentum, which actually screws you when you're trying to make these charges. Number 2. While I know that jumping into your shield isn't necessarily a new tech, I have found a new use for it. Much opposed to using it to blitz the enemy as I recommended in Reinhardt's first tech video, you should use it to escape when you're in deep. This entirely changes Reinhardt when he's on the defensive from being a slow walking shield that enemies will easily get within, to someone that's moving as fast as they are while being protected about 75% of the time. Just the sound of that statement really illustrates how it increases your odds when you're in a pinch. Depending on your health, it is very frequently a guaranteed escape. Number 3. Refrain from pulling up a recharging barrier every time you're in danger. There are an abundance of situations where your healer will keep you alive easily, and pulling up the shield forces you to wait for its recharging cooldown again, and prevents your healer from having use in the situation, as they obviously cannot heal your shield. Overall, allowing your healer to heal you up while your shield is maxing out is a significantly better alternative to ungracefully pulling out the shield, having a, let's say, Mercy sitting around uselessly, then needing to wait for the shield to begin recharging again after the engagement. Number 4. Now that Sombra is out, there is technically never a reason to stop hammering in spare moments, such as those on the way to the battlefield or waiting between engagements. You could catch her while she's stealth if she's on the enemy team, and even if you don't, it acts as an extra zoning tool for Sombra to watch out for, making life more difficult for her. And if you actually manage to land a hit on her, it would be a disaster and probably result in a kill. Swinging the hammer does all of that, and it doesn't even prevent you from fire striking or shielding, or slow your movement speed. Number 5 is a small trick to enhance Reinhardt's momentum on the way back to the fight. If you hold down spacebar while charging, he will immediately jump out of charge with its momentum, flinging him quite far. This is good in any situation where you're returning to the fight, but is even better if there's a downward slant on your way there, as you'll get some extra airtime and distance due to it. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it just occurred to me to remind you that there's like a little bell thing next to my subscribe button. So if you're one of the 8,000 people that frequents my videos, make sure to hit that bell. It basically ensures that you see all of my videos on your front page when they come out. Thanks for that.